class, welcome to Advantage. I'm Matt Fisher and I'm your accounting professor. All right, this is the first video in the managerial accounting series. You've probably already taken an accounting class, which was financial accounting, but now we're gonna begin managerial accounting. And these videos will hopefully help you through the difficult topic subjects that we have in managerial accounting. Now I've looked at several managerial accounting textbooks to see kind of what they like to introduce towards the beginning of the class. And for this video, I'm gonna go over an introduction of just a couple of topics that I felt were common between most of the textbooks. So the first thing that we're gonna take a look at is the difference between financial accounting and managerial accounting. Like I said earlier, financial accounting is what we learned previously. That was probably your first accounting class. And in that class, we prepared financial statements such as balance sheets, income statements, and these were being used by people external to the company to help them make decisions. These external users might, might have been investors, creditors, regulators, and once again, it helps them to make decisions. This information must follow GAAP. If you remember, GAAP is, stands for Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. These are the rules that we follow. And in financial accounting, we're mainly looking at historical information. We're looking at the past and presenting what happened for external users to look at. Now let's, let's compare this to managerial accounting. Managerial accounting is not for external users, it's for internal users. It helps management to make decisions, all right? It's giving them information to make decisions. This information does not need to follow GAAP. All right, because it's being used internal to the company, we don't have to follow the rules of GAAP because we're not presenting this material, this information to outsiders. It's mainly predicting the future with projections and estimates. Now, what this is really doing, what managerial accounting is really about is planning, directing, monitoring, analyzing, controlling, and reporting information. All right, so those are the differences between financial accounting and managerial accounting. Now let's take a look at the different type of business sectors out there. We're gonna look at three different types, or three very common type of business sectors. The first one is the service business. Businesses that are a service are gonna sell an intangible item. Examples are legal firms, accounting firms, airlines. They sell a service to the public. These companies typically do not have inventory. They're not selling a product. They might have minimal amounts of inventory, but that's not their, their main business. Their main business is to sell a service. The next type of business is a merchandising business, and they sell a tangible product. They buy items from suppliers or from other businesses, and then they turn around and sell them. Examples would be like grocery stores, department stores, okay? They sell something that's been already, that has already been manufactured. They will have inventory, obviously. Think about going into a grocery store. Everything that's in that grocery store pretty much is inventory that they're trying to sell. All right, the third type of business center is the manufacturing business center. They're manufacturing a product. They're making something. And they're going to convert materials into this product. So they'll buy materials and then they'll use labor and overhead to convert this material into a product. They also will have inventory, but their inventory is going to be made up of a raw materials inventory, a work in process inventory, and a finished goods inventory. All right, so they typically have three different types of inventory accounts. Raw materials, work in process, which we sometimes call WIP, and finished goods. All right, so that's the end of this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll go over some more important topics associated with managerial accounting. Good luck, students.